So let's dig into looking at the pH scale. We're going to take a little bit of a look at the details of what's going on with this hydrogen ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration because it seems to be a little bit of a problem for a lot of us to understand. So first of all, you probably already understand that we have a 1 to 14 scale, with 1 through 7 being on the more acidic end of the scale, while 7 through 14 are headed towards the basic end of the scale. We know that most biological things are in this realm here of 7 with pure water. However, we'll a voyage outside of the seven with urine, human urine at pH five, and then certain enzymes are made so that we can have gastric juices with a pH of two, which is similar to that of Coca-Cola. Anyway, we're probably familiar with this, but what does it all mean in terms of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion concentration? So let's take a closer look at what's going on with the OH and H concentration on this pH scale. First of all, we have to note that as the numbers increase in the negative direction for the hydrogen ion concentration, you can see that we'll have 10 to the negative 14 hydrogen ions. And we're going to, to see what exactly that means because we start out at pH 1 with 10 to the negative 1, or pH 2, 10 to the negative 2. And how is it that these numbers are actually smaller? So why is it that at this end of the spectrum we have higher hydrogen ion concentration, while at this end we have lower hydrogen ion concentration? The other thing that you're going to notice is that when we consider the hydroxide ion concentrations, you'll see that when hydrogen ions are at negative 1, then hydroxide ions are at negative 13. And this is because there's a reciprocal relationship between the two numbers. Now, let's take a quick uh, diversion to take a look at what's going on with the numbers and how many zeros and how big the numbers are and all of that business. So we're going to zoom down all the way to the other side of this page and take a look at this chart where we'll consider pH and what number of hydrogen ions are actually present and OH and what number of hydroxide ions are actually present. So when we consider our pH, we could be measuring pH or conversely, we could be measuring OH activity. Now they are, as we said, reciprocal to each other. So when we look at uh, 10 to the 0 or 1e to the 0, you have the number 1. So what does this 1 mean? It's actually how many moles of hydrogen ions there are in a liter. So this would be 1 mole per liter. And it goes down by a factor of 10 with each exponent. And that's sort of the logarithmic scale. If you imagine sort of a, a population growth curve, right, and we have this logarithmic fashion go up. So it's by a factor of 10 and a factor of 10 that we see those increases. So what you'll notice is that when we have 10 to the negative 14 or 1e to the 14, that you'll see hydrogen ion concentration is very, very small versus when we're at 10 to the 3, we have less zeros after the decimal point, and so we have a bigger number. So more hydrogen ions, as in up at this end of the spectrum, means that it is more acidic. And less hydrogen ions that we see down here at the other end of the spectrum means it is more basic. So as we said, there's a reciprocal relationship where we see OH activity when hydrogen ion activity, let's say we're looking at uh, Coca-Cola at number two. So a pH of two, we see that there are 0 0.01 hydrogen ions per 
or moles of hydrogen ions per liter of water, whereas when we look at it with OH activity, we'll see that there is point, uh, 10 to the negative 12, right? And so they're inverse of each other. So you can now see from this figure that the higher the exponent number, the less hydrogen ions there are, and the lower the exponent number, or pH value, the more hydrogen ions that there are. So now let's zoom back over to that pH scale and take another look at what's going on here. So pH is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration. We could also be measuring OH, or hydroxide ion concentration, and sometimes things are measured on the pOH scale, but in biology in general, we'll stick with a pH scale. You know then that looking at the inverse relationship between hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions, we can say, let's say if we're looking at coffee, right? Coffee has a pH of five, which means it has 10 to the negative 5 hydrogen ions or moles of hydrogen per liter. So that is 0 0.00001, right? So that's pretty small. And on converse, we see that there is a 10 to the negative 9 for the OH concentration. So when you're given the hydrogen ion concentration, or even just the pH of something, all you need to do is subtract that number from 14 in order to get the inverse of that, or the hydrogen or hydroxide ion concentration. So in this case, coffee had a 10 to the negative 5, and we subtract that from 14 to arrive at the OH concentration of 10 to the negative 9. So hopefully this tutorial has given you some insight into the pH scale and how OH and uh, hydrogen ion concentrations are reciprocal to each other so that you can use a pH to predict any of the concentrations involved in uh, determining pH scale. Thanks for listening.